Hi everybody, welcome to the Chem Complete Lecture for Nucleophilic Substitution and Elimination. So this is going to be one of our online courses similar to the IUPAC naming course and the Unknown Spectroscopy course. So you can expect for all of the content to be covered from start to finish in this series of courses, anything that deals with nucleophilic substitution reactions and the competing elimination reactions. Now before we get started with the first outline here and the overview of what's going to be taking place during this course, I wanted to mention that you can get the walkthrough guide for this particular course over at chemcomplete.com. So if you go to chemcomplete.com, that's our website, and you'll see we have things like free resource page. You can contact us if you're interested on one-on-one -on -one individual tutoring with me. And then if you click on the Buy Guide section right here, it will take you over to a series of guides. We have these on sale currently. So for $5, you can donate to the channel and pick up this guide. It is a complete guide, and it has everything that we're going to talk about here, plus additional practice problems, and it really gives some additional details that you're not going to get just in the online course. So I highly encourage people that have the ability to support the channel to go over there and check it out. So what are we going to talk about in this particular course? Number one, we're going to go over the basics of substitution and elimination reactions. And this can be broken down into four major parts. And that is what's going to affect substitution and elimination reactions. We have the leaving group identity. So we're talking about when you look at a leaving group, chlorine, bromine, iodine, that should be TOS, tosylate. And then we have leaving group position. So primary, secondary, tertiary, where the leaving group is actually located on the substrate. We have nucleophile identity, which is whether a nucleophile is charged or neutral. And we'll also take a look at which atoms make better nucleophiles than others, uh, regardless of charge or neutrality. And then solvent is another big one. So the solvent tends to be the one where students get most lost, but we'll be looking at protic and aprotic. And then we have examples of SN1 and SN2 reactions that we're going to go over. We will look at both the conditions, so when all of the conditions align, the solvent, the nucleophile, the substrates, etc. And we will take a look at those mechanisms and the kinetics behind them. Okay, then we'll also look at elimination reactions. These are in direct competition with substitution reactions, so you have to know when to predict whether an elimination reaction is going to occur or if a substitution reaction is going to occur. So we will look at examples of E1 and E2. That's similar to SN1 and SN2. And we'll discuss what the 1 and 2 refers to. That'll be coming up in the next lecture. Uh, and we'll look at those mechanisms. And then we will go over what's called the Substitution Nucleophilic Elimination Sheet. So that is a cheat sheet that I have created throughout my years of teaching that really helps to identify whether you're going to be dealing with an elimination or a substitution and which one you would be dealing with within that subset. So are you gonna, if you have an elimination, are you going to be dealing with an E1 or an E2? And if you have a substitution, are you going to be dealing with an SN1 or an SN2? So I abbreviate that the SNES. Uh, I am an old school gamer, so that is not the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. That is the Substitution Nucleophilic Elimination Sheet. And finally, we will obviously have a practice session. And the practice session will involve going over and looking some uh, detailed questions regarding substitution or elimination and we will walk through that on here so again head on over to chemcomplete.com to take a look at the guides and just poke around and see what else we're offering we're constantly updating the site and i look forward to everybody learning with us in this upcoming course